All right, hey everybody. So, a couple days ago, I posted a TikTok. I didn't think that it would go anywhere. Last night I checked, it was at three million views, so thank you for that. And I noticed a lot of you in the comments wanted to know story time, story time on how I met all these celebrities. So, this is what I'm gonna give you. I'm going to do a story time right now, and and then I'm going to go more in depth. Alright? So we're going to start off with Dove Cameron. Alright? Let me pull up for Dove Cameron. Um, it was at a premiere for Assassination Nation. Remember that movie with Sam Levinson directed it? It was like weird. It was supposed to be like a Purge movie, but it ended so differently. So that's where I met her. Jason Isaacs. All right. We all know everyone's a huge Harry Potter fan. I met Jason Isaacs at a screening of his new thriller movie. It's like a new horror movie. This was a couple years ago. It was just a free event here in Los Angeles. Anybody could have gone. Caitlin Tarver and Kendall Schmidt from Big Time Rush. All right, so from Big Time Rush, I met these people, these amazing humans at, let's just, it was at Caitlin Tarver's concert. It was at the Grove. She did an outdoor performance. It was so fun. Apparently this, is a funny story so me and my friend we got there early we didn't know what it was gonna be like cuz you know how lines are it's first come first serve so we got there early the person who a person who worked for the event came out and gave us free VIP tickets so we got to be in the VIP section with Debbie Ryan Kendall Schmidt so we were like front row it was so much fun Everything was just amazing. It was like the best time I ever had. Debbie Ryan. All right, so the, a lot of you have been asking why I gave it a nine out of 10 for Debbie Ryan. That's because it was just a quick interaction. We didn't really talk that much. I mostly talked with Kendall and Caitlin, but it was mostly just more like, all right, just take a quick picture and go. She She's an amazing person, so I don't rate her a nine out of 10 because she's a jerk, no. Nothing like that at all. Mary Elizabeth Winston. All right, I met her at Suspiria red carpet premiere. She is so nice. Like, we talked for about like five minutes about Sky High, how like, and Scott Pilgrim versus the world. It was just a fun, amazing time. Mark Wahlberg. All right, a lot of you have been dragging me for this one on why he said it's just, he's a super awesome guy. Because he is. I know what he did in the past, but people change. He's a better guy. He's a better person. He learned from his mistakes. So what bothers me on the comments that I see is that you guys have to bring up people's past and bring them down again. I don't know why you guys have to do that, but you probably are just kind of insecure about yourselves that maybe you should just look it up on after what he did. And don't bring the past, because if you bring the past back, you're going to relive it. And that's something that we shouldn't all do. James Wan. All right. James Wan. Funny enough, I was watching Aquaman. I was watching Aquaman when it came out back in 2018. That's where I met him. All right. So when I met James Wan... It was just a fun time, like, super chill dude. 
I didn't know. I sat down. This was at AMC Burbank 16. I sat down like at. Like he. He sits right next to me. The corner of my eye. I was like. Okay. Why does this guy look so familiar? It turned out it was James Wan. We talked about how. Aquaman was. We both loved it. He's. He is directing. He's. He's just an awesome guy just to talk to. So I hope all of you have a chance to meet him one day. All right, so John Bernthal. John Bernthal. This was at the Punisher Season 2 red carpet event. This is where I met him. He is a fun dude to talk to. He is super nice, super chill. All right, Lana Condor from To All The Boys. This was at the Alita Battle Angel red carpet event. So, when I met Lana, it was just a quick, fun interaction. Like, we talked for, like, about a minute or less, but nothing else. It was just a fun theme. Story time of Dua Lipa. Alright, so when I met Dua Lipa, um, this was still at the Lido Battle Angel premiere. It was just a fun... Fun day that night, like she she gets off the party bus. It's just a super fun time. We it was like super quick, but she was so nice. She gave me a hug. James Cameron. All right, I met James Cameron at the uh, Alita Battle Angel premiere. He was super chill to talk to. Super fun. Just a nice guy in general. All right, so I got invited to the John Wick premiere. It was super fun. Keanu Reeves, oh my God, super lovable guy. Like insane. Just a super lovable, fun, charismatic dude. All right, so this was at the murder mystery premiere when I met Adam Sandler. So, Adam Sandler was like, we all got there early. It was just super fun. Like, it was just, I got invited to go. It was just like, he is so fun to talk to. Isabella Merced. All right, so funny enough, this is like the, probably the third time I met her. Was at the Dora premiere. So we all, me and my friends got invited to the Dora premiere. It was just a fun time. It was burning hot out. Dora was, it's a good movie. But Isabella is like so nice. All right, Jaden Martell and Wyatt Olaf. These, I went to a film festival back in October, 2019. I didn't, it was like for Are You Afraid of the Dark, that Nickelodeon show. So they showed up. We talked for a bit. It was so fun. All right. So my friend Tiffany invited me to go see, to the premiere of C, the Apple TV show with Jason Momoa. And Jason Momoa was taking pictures with everyone. Super cool dude. Super chill. Lauren Draghi was also there. Um, yeah, so. And it was, like I said before, a quick interaction. It wasn't like, you know, too, like, really quick. Mason Gooding. All right, Mason Gooding, this was before I met him. No, this was when I first met him, but, like, before he became like super big. I guess this was before Love Victor came out. And Scream. But like. He's just a fun dude to talk to. He's like super nice. Super chill. Karen Shipka. Alright. Karen Shipka is the. Most genuine person I have ever met. 
Alright, Jacob Adelon, who plays, we all know, he plays Ned from Spider-Man. Alright, he is just super cool. Super cool dude. It was at the Let It Snow premiere, also was with Karen Shipka and Mason Gooding. Matthew Modine. This was a premiere for a Nicolas Cage movie, The Color Out of Space. He was there, so was Elijah Wood, so was Alex Wolf. Marilyn Manson I got a picture with. But Matthew Modine was pretty awesome. He, Everyone was calling him Papa at the premiere. It was so funny. Sabrina Carpenter. Okay, this was at the Lock and Key premiere. So she's she is so nice. She gave me a big hug. All right. All right. Like I said, you guys put some pretty funny comments. Um yeah, so this was just out of the blue. So me and my friends were coming from Anaheim from like a conference and stuff. We didn't, so, we made it in the nick of time. I did, they couldn't go, but I made it in the nick of time. Went back to my apartment. Uh, didn't have, basically, you know, a suit and tie, just like, all right, whatever, she might not even be there. It just says screening. Doesn't say red carpet premiere. Okay, so I go there. Turns out, oh, it's a red carpet premiere for Emma, the movie she did. So, Anya Taylor-Joy was there. So, we just talked about New Mutants, and she is so cool. Hold on. Yeah, like I said, we just talked about New Mutants, and, like, how we... She's just super fun. She gave me a hug. And we took a picture. Jenna Ortega was also there, but yeah. Catherine Newton. Okay, this was during the pandemic. This was my second time meeting her. It was the movie premiere for Freaky, which you guys should all watch. It's now on Freebie. It is a fun movie just to watch with your friends. It's Freaky Friday meets Friday the 13th. It's just fun just to watch and she does an amazing job in it so does Vince Vaughn so yeah this was at the premiere for yeah was at the premiere for Freaky it was at a drive-in it was so much fun all right Boo Boo Stewart yes guys this was at a Chipotle in Burbank all right so, he was just there in line. It was so much fun. Like, I just got done watching Loki. I went to the red carpet premiere for Loki, season one. So, it was like at the El Capitan. Went to Burbank because I had another screening later that day for Hitman's Bodyguard too. So, yeah, we just talked. Super chill dude. All right. So... Sam Raimi. Alright, Sam Raimi. This was fun. This was a fun story to tell. Alright, so he has a movie coming out called 65. It looks amazing. I can't wait to see it. Um, but yeah, this was just at AMC Burbank. I was just walking around. Um, yeah, so, like, it was the day Spider-Man No Way Home teaser trailer came out. So, we were all watching it on our phones. Sam Raimi comes up to to me and my friends and says, oh, what are you guys watching? And we just, like, looked at him, like, oh, we're just watching Spider-Man No Way Home teaser. It looks good. And, and like, he gave us, like, a, 
like a wink that like that like oh cool cool like hope you guys enjoyed and and my friend like pointed out wait isn't that Sam Raimi who directed uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man and we were just like yeah it is and like yeah so it was just a funny story like we knew we recognized him, but we didn't know if it was really him or not. But, like, it was so much fun. All right, Joshua Bassett. Joshua Bassett decided to post on, I would say, Instagram about, oh, doing a free meet and greet at the Grove. So, this was this past summer. Went over to the Grove, met up with him. Super chill dude. We got a picture. He was so nice and friendly. Okay. Corbin Blue. I met him at the school for Good and Evil premiere with Sophia Wiley. Yeah. That's about it. It was just quick. Hunter Doohan. Alright. So, me and my friends got invited to to a early screening of Wednesday back in October with the cast showed up some of the cast members showed up it was just a fun time it was at the Bay Theater like it was just a super fun time all right Christopher Nolan Christopher Nolan I met Christopher Nolan through uh, it was so funny. I was watching Ray and the Last Dragon. It was like the first movie I saw at, since the pandemic. Like it was at AMC. Um, I ran into him in the elevator. In the parking garage elevator. And he was just super cool dude. Super chill. Super really nice guy. Alright. Selena Gomez. This was at the Mind and Me meet and greet. It was just a fun meet and greet Q&A. She talked about her documentary, which is now streaming on Apple+. Plus. It was so much fun. We talked. I We talked for about five minutes on how, like, she changed my life. And she gave me a big hug, like... And made a video for my friend who couldn't make it there. Yeah, it was so much fun. Sochi Gomez from Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Alright, she is just super fun, super chill person. This was at the something from Tiffany's red carpet premiere. Yeah, it was just a super fun time. Alright. For Damien Chazelle, this was a couple weeks ago. I got invited to see Babylon, an early, sc an advanced screening of it, like right by my house, so it all worked out. He was doing a Q&A for it. So, yeah, so we just talked about how Whiplash, La La Land, um, Babylon, we just talked about his filmmaking skills are, and yeah, it was just super chill. All right, so that... That's all, that's all for the story time. If you want to see part two, just hit me up in the comments. I will be posting these on TikTok, some of them on TikTok as well. So yeah, all right, bye.